next example is perfect for those people who like to go to the desert and ride their dune buggies to the desert over the hills and on these very windy and hilly roads and let's say that we have this little dune buggy coming up to this big hill and the hill curves this way and we can simulate it by saying that this hill makes a radius of curvature of 20 meters how fast can this little dune buggy drive over this hill without going airborne so again if we then imagine that this dune buggy gets to the top of the hill at a certain speed and uh, we then would have the weight caused by gravity acting downward and of course because it's going around a circle path we have that fictitious force which we call the centrifugal force then pushing upward F centrifugal force like that and so this is equal to mv squared over r again I'm doing this comparison where if something goes around the circle there's something pulling it inward something pushing it outward as a fictitious force and if this is larger than this that car will go airborne so what we're going to do is we're going to write mv squared over r which is the fictitious force pushing it outward is equal to mg the force keeping it inward this exact this of course the centripetal force which provides that force inward to keep the car on the road but if it's not enough if the weight is not enough and you're going too fast the car will indeed go airborne so the mass cancels out on both sides so we have v squared is equal to r times g or v is equal to the square root of r times g so if the radius is 20 meters and g of course is 9.8 meters per second square let's find out how fast you can go over this hill before you go airborne so that would be 20 times 9.8 and take the square root 14 meters per second now for those who are not familiar with how fast that really is let's convert that to miles per hour so we need to do two conversions so we have meters here we want that to be miles and we want meters at the bottom so the meters cancel out and we have seconds on the bottom we want that to be hours that means we need seconds on the top so they cancel out so one mile is 1609 meters and one hour is 3600 seconds and that's how we can convert from meters per second to miles per hour so 14 times 3600 divided by 1609 equals 31 miles per hour so let's say you take this hill at 50 miles per hour what's going to happen and potentially a very bad situation at the bottom of the hill so be careful don't go too fast that's how you do that